Cased holes may be perforated in several ways. Using conventional casing guns, run into the well on electric wire line through wire line pressure control equipment. Using through tubing guns, run into the well after the tubing has been installed. Or using tubing conveyed perforating guns, run on the bottom of the tubing string and detonated using mechanical, electrical, or pressure activated firing mechanisms. Also, the delivery system for placing the shaped charges at the proper location via wireline may be categorized as one of three possible types. Retrievable, consisting of a cylindrical hollow steel charge carrier, which is retrieved after firing and may then be discarded, as in the case of scallop guns, or reused several times, as in the case of port plug guns. Semi-expendable, in which case the perforating charges are conveyed into the well on a retrievable metal or wire carrier. Or fully expendable, where the charges and carrier linkage disintegrate on detonation and only the wire line is retrieved. Generally speaking, the larger diameter casing guns run via wire line will carry larger charges and thus give larger perforation diameters and greater penetration depths than the smaller through tubing guns. Through tubing perforating, however, is a more practical method for underbalanced perforating than using conventional casing guns. And underbalanced perforating can help maximize productivity. Tubing conveyed perforating seems to provide a means to combine both the larger high performance guns with the flexible pressure condition. Let's take a look at this demonstration. In the perforation process, the Connects charge performs essentially the same as the conventional one. When the gun is fired, the detonation of each shaped charge turns the charge liner into a fast-moving, high-density jet. That jet travels through the gun body, casing and rock, creating the perforation tunnel. This bulldozing action plastically deforms the rock and drives crushed formation material into surrounding pores, creating what is known as the crushed zone.